Do you miss me? So I just got off from a meeting and before I have to go to work, I like to squeeze in this video real quick of what's been happening since my last vlog. I was still at Washington State then. Oh man, I even wrote down what's been happening. <clears throat> so the LIGO third of serving run started of course and I came back to Australia. I wrote a paper. Then I was supposed to go back to the lab. Then the lockdown started to happen. For about three months, I was uh, I had been spending time on a virtual lab. So today's video is gonna be about what experimental physicists do during the lockdown, or what I did during the lockdown. Sorry about that guys, I had to go to the lab now. I just got back. Let's get back to our video. There definitely wasn't a lot that I can do. I basically spent my whole three months learning the theory, things I should have known since first year, second year of grad school, but I never had time to sit down and derive it. So there was this experiment that I just started to work on before the lockdown started. I was trying to come up with a control scheme for this uh, complicated thing, couple cavity. Anyhow, and to do that means I had to do math. And this is what my virtual lab looks like. Let's get to my computer here. I did everything in Mathematica. I know my optical layout is being preliminary designed by someone else. And all I was trying to do is to understand how uh, this thing is supposed to work. There is uh, other software that would help me model optical cavities, but to fully understand the physics of it, it's best to derive it myself. And this, this, is, this is my three months worth of work. It's a 9 by 9 matrix and it's all mostly field propagation. In this model or in this virtual lab of mine, I was able to model the transmission, error signals using different methods of detections, cavity response, the system response, all sorts of things. I'm pretty slow at doing math, so somebody else in my position probably could have done it faster. Yeah, that's really it. I spend most of my time in front of the computer. What else did I do? Uh, I made lots of comics. I actually drew a lot because during the lockdown, I couldn't really work more than eight hours a day. Like, what else am I gonna do? I couldn't be in a lab. And I've submitted my short story to align Webtoon for their uh, short story contest. I don't think I'm gonna win, but it would be nice if I get a little, little coffee money. I'll post the link down below. If you have time, maybe go check that out. Because of the lab access restriction, I couldn't really be in the lab after 5 p.m. So I really hope that because now I have more time, I would be able to make more video. Well, that's it, guys. I hope to see you again next time maybe i'll show you a thing or two from the lab with a voiceover because it's really awkward to talk to your camera with people around who don't vlog like i do it's just awkward let just not go there anyway i'll see you next time hopefully not too long in the future cheers oh 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 and if you want to see more of this pretty face of mine hee <laughs> hee please consider subscribing that would mean so much to me well, because I can only monetize my YouTube video after a thousand subscriber, but details. Cheers.